In the previous video, we saw how we could visualize the data in our boards in different formats using board views. In this video, we'll look at how to create dashboards. Dashboards allow us to create reports and get insights about the data in our boards. So if I want to see on a chart or a graph how many of our applicants are qualified versus disqualified at any time, I can do that? Sure. We can add first a dashboard view and then a chart widget. Then, we need to choose the type of chart we want. I think a bar chart will work best here. Since we use groups to show the applicants which are qualified or disqualified, let's choose groups as the x-axis and then show a count of items on the y-axis. Finally, we can update the name of the widget. Awesome! Oh wait, we also see a bar for the applicants which are in process here. I'm less interested in this. To hide that group from the chart, we can use the filter so we only show the qualified and disqualified groups. Then, we will save this version. Cool, makes sense. Now I want to see how many applicants have qualified or have been disqualified for every step in the qualification process. We can add another chart and choose a pie this time. We'll start by selecting the status column for the phone interview, which is where we record the outcome. Now let's do it for the other two phases. We'll duplicate our chart twice and simply change the label to the status column of the stage we want to show. So here the physical evaluation, and here the wellness review. Finally, let's move the widgets so they all sit together in one neat row. Awesome! One more super cool thing is that you can also drill down to see the actual list of applicants who qualified or were disqualified at each stage by clicking on the relevant section of the pie chart. Wow, that's going to be really useful. Let's wrap this up. In this video, we started to explore reporting on a board level using the dashboard view and chart widget. We will learn how to build reports using data from multiple boards, along with other available widgets later on in this course. We have also now completed the optimization step in our workflow methodology. Before continuing, don't forget to practice what you've just learned by taking the exercise. <laughs>